We are at the Guamashu Interchange. We are looking at a pioneering project right now. In the whole southern hemisphere, this is the very first project. So the whole of Africa, it hasn't been done anyway. The old uh, formation of the normal interchange uh, you yeah. had with the robots and the four-way stops, now with the diverging diamond interchange, I think the traffic is yeah, flowing a lot freely. Being the main thoroughfare of taxes and everything coming out of Kormasha is very congested interchange. Obviously we knew that this being a diverging diamond interchange, being one of the first in the southern hemisphere, we knew that this was going to be quite a high profile job. The, 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 the whole system here was to change to switch lanes from traffic traveling on the left hand side as they came through the intersection we switched over to the right hand side lane and vice versa the other way. So you'd only have signalizations stopping traffic at each ends at only at one one spot. The actual works was not a, a lot, but it's working in confined spaces and areas and, and with traffic trying to get things right. There were some sections where the slip lanes and all that had to be widened. The old retaining wall along down the side embankment, that had to get cut back and moved back with a new retaining wall erected. Obviously the islands changed and then the, the, the old lanes coming through, the islands had to move. There were a, a bit of challenges. Um, we've seen uh, numerous accidents at the time of construction. Uh, obviously the people are not used to it, but um, eventually that is has eased off and uh, the traffic is flowing a lot smoothly now. If this project hadn't happened and with the growth rate of traffic every year, which is the estimated at about 4%, there would be serious congestion on this road. There would be, you know, when congestion happens, people get frustrated, tempers rise, others try to take chances, accidents would have increased and there would have been delays to the economy, people getting stuck up and not getting to do their businesses, which, which drive the economy on time. And on the end too, I shudder even to think of the amount of, of, of big traffic out there. Probably it would be reaching Ngeni by now at peak hour. <laughs>